Greetings and salutations, Mega Wizard 79 here with another episode of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, oh boy, I swear, like, grinding in this game is a chore. I kid you not. Um, so, so far, I pretty much have, uh, everyone almost decked out in, um, diamond armor. As you can see, my good friend, uh, Xavier here still not yet, but, uh, it's because I need Ori Calcum for most of the stuff, and, oh boy, Ori Calcum. Ori Calcum is such, an, is such a nuisance to get. I, I always thought it was just pretty simple to farm off of a high-level dungeon, but it's not. Like, I've gone to, like, so many places that I have already have it tier 3, and they're just not dropping anything! Uh, so I looked up, and one of the best places to farm for it is Mount Kalanda, but Mount Kalanda is so expensive to get to, because the issue is, is that once you finish it, you automatically leave, um, and then if you want to go back, you have to pay the fare again. Yeah, it's 250 now, but... That's still 250 every time, and it's still not a guaranteed drop. And Mount Kalanda is one of the most annoying places to just farm because the overall enemy spam is ridiculous. You have nothing but ogres and like those magic casting cats, and ah, uh, it's just it's a terrible, terrible place. <sighs> so yeah, but don't worry, I, I'm I'm doing my best. I'm I'm doing my best. Uh. What do you call it? So I figured at the very least I could show you something uh, that I do have access to right now. Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, right, uh, I'm currently on my, oh, I don't know, my 12th year something right now. Um, probably, no, 13th. I'm on my 13th year. Uh, but yeah, so um, what do you call it? We're right now on the other side of the Jagan River, uh, past the Flames of the plains of Fum, and we're heading towards, um, the Rebina Tara, uh, plateau, um, to head to that one miasma stream way off in the distance over there, because there is a town beyond there that we, uh, have access to because we have the holy element now, um, what do you call it, um, and Mr. Mog here actually, uh, gives us a, well, no, his name's not Mog, his name is Stiltskin, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, Stiltskin here actually has a little lore about that place, uh, so let's, uh, see what he says. You ever heard about the meteor? It fell from the sky long ago and shattered the great crystal. That's when miasma spread across the world. A century later, the monsters arose. At least that's what that lady going round and round in Shilla told me. So I asked her when Moogles first appeared. She was silent for a while, then said, You Moogles remind me of Carbuncles. Why don't you go to Magmel and find out? You follow me? The Carbuncle is a creature of legend. It's not real. And Magmel is an imaginary town. So how am I supposed to know how to get there? North? South? I wouldn't know where to begin. Maybe if I keep traveling, I'll find my way there someday. <laughs> it's funny, really. Uh, just because the, uh, the town he's looking for is just past this miasma stream. You just have to go this way, past uh, Rebina Tara, and boom, you're there. Um, I guess it's probably because you need the holy element to get past that miasma stream, which is weird because he's a he's a he's a Moogle. Moogles are not affected by miasma, so he can walk through these streams without needing magic at all. Just like I mean, sorry, without needing a crystal at all, just like any other monster. Um, so it just makes me wonder why he just never thought to just keep going west. <laughs> yep, year thirteen. All right. Oh, and it's called Revena Plains. Revena Tara is just is the name of the location. But yep, here we go. As you can see, the uh, that weird like sort of uh, uh, like 
I don't really know how to describe it. I guess it kind of looks like Port Bell mushrooms, more or less. But yeah, the, the, those things right at the end right there on the top right, uh, that's the crater. And then that over there that's blocked by the, uh, by the uh, title right there, that's uh, Magmel. Ah, there we go. That's a much better picture of it. Uh, but yeah, but Magmel is interesting because the carbuncles, um, they're all asleep right now. Except for that one right there. <laughs> Isn't that interesting, though? Uh, the fact that he has, uh, he actually has a carbuncle right between his horn. Now, that guy will only appear, um... Uh, once you have the holy element, uh, he won't, uh, you know, you won't be able to pass, uh, like, all you'll see is just this, you know, this craziness, well, actually, the, well, you know what I mean, but yeah, that's a, that's a nice little attention to detail, that, uh, that gem right there is a bona fide carbuncle, which is what they're named after, <laughs> The Abyss. What a name, huh? But yep, yeah, so that over there is the crater. We will not be going anywhere near that. And here's Magmel. Now, there is a Mog House here. Which is interesting, considering that Stiltskin never came over here. So it's, it's proof that Moogles can cross over here, no problem. Yep, see? So every one of those little structures over there, that's a house. And, uh... The, uh, each one will open after a year. Uh, right now we only have access to one of the houses, which is the guy that we just met. Um, I don't know where his house is specifically, but I'm pretty sure we'll find it eventually. Uh, yep, see? This house is closed. They're all sleeping inside here. Um, now each one of them, uh, they, um, now this whole area, it's pretty much for lore. Plain and simple. There's no merchants here, no nothing like that. It is just a 100% lore location. So honestly, you don't even have to come here. Well, except for the Mog stamp, unless you're collecting those. But uh, yeah, so each one of these has a carbuncle inside. They're all currently sleeping. There's a specific reason for that. Um, what do you call it? It'll unfold with uh, each passing year. So, <laughs> hey, what do you know? He found it. What are those things? They do nothing but sleep. Well, I hope they're awake the next time I come by. What are those things? <laughs> yep. See? They're all just sleeping right now. As you can see, there's really not much to do right now. But I figured I'd show you this guy. Uh, this. No, I know one of these houses has to... Ah, here he is. See? Ah, sorry. He's asleep. Uh, even though we can see him, at least. Alright. Let me see. I really do like the... Uh, now, as I've said before, um, this is actually my first time ever being here. Um, like, uh, I've never gone past that Miasma stream. I've been everywhere else in the game. Uh, never been here. Not once, not ever. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find the Mog House. It's, it's gotta be here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Found ya. And just like every other Mog House. Identical in every way, shape, or form. Hmm. I wonder. Hello. Yep. So in one town you got one that's sleeping on his bed up uh, up <laughs> It's funny this time we have the female sleeping. Hello, Capone. Capone. 
Okay, this is our second to last stamp. We just need one more, and then we're good. And that one's in the crater, which I will not be going anywhere near right now, of course. <laughs> I will get destroyed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's interesting to note that this is also the only town that doesn't have a... Um, uh, it doesn't have your inventory guy. So, you, uh, Fields of Foom is... It's Fields of Foom or Bust. <laughs> Funny how that is, huh? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all we can do right now. Um, the next time I come here, I'll be able to uh, talk to these guys more. So like I said, uh, every year, one of these guys wakes up and then you can talk to them. Uh, currently, the one guy who is technically awake isn't really awake. So we have to come back here next year. Uh, but that's all there is to it for now. Um... Mm-hmm. Yep, that's all. Alright. Let's see. Uh, it's a nice, quaint little place, at the very least. And we get a diary entry for it. Might as well read it, right? Magmel, village of legend, or rather, a village trying to disappear from legend. Has time stopped here? The air is stiff. A peculiar wind blows through. That is all very important for lore purposes. There's a reason why it fe it has that sense of feeling. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess it. I guess Magmail doesn't have its own unique tab. It's probably just under Towns and Villages. Yeah, it's probably just under Dungeons and Towns. Yep. Yep, there it is. Magmail. Anyway. Alright, so... Hmm... I guess we could just go to Kalanda at least once and uh, see if I can uh, get something to f drop for me. Uh, I will say it is easier to be a magic caster, so I'll just go there as my Uke. Uh, my Uke is pretty much maxed out in regards to his health and his command slots. He has all three of the artifacts for those. Um, he also has a couple artifacts that give him a plus five to his magic, a couple to give him plus three. He also has a fair amount of the rings. I think he has... I think he has everything but the fire ring. Well, for elemental purposes, anyway. He has a blizzard ring. He has a... Pretty sure he has a thunder ring. I mean, we can check when I go to the when I go to f uh, the fields of foam because I have to head there to uh, get the money I need. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll need two fifty because uh, he charges the fare up front. Round trip. Oh well, at least my chalice is empty right now, so that means. Once I do that, I can just make multiple trips there and not worry about having to fill my chalice. Of course, I'll do all that off camera. <laughs> that would be way too tedious. But I suppose one giant fight wouldn't hurt. I mean, technically speaking, I don't even have to fight the iron giant, but I mean, <laughs> I gotta give you guys something besides just this lore, which I don't know, I mean, I find it personally interesting, um, just because of the, um, alright, let me just put it this way, compared to most other Final Fantasy games that I've experienced, this is the most 
understandable plot I've ever seen in a Final Fantasy game. It is just... It actually, it has a beginning, middle, and end that all makes sense! Hello, Kapo. Kapo. You know, the only thing that dra- the only thing that dra- Oh, I already have 400 on me. Good! Um, let's see, I'll put... Uh, I don't need all of it, so I'll put two fifths. There we go. Alright, so, let's see, do I... Mm, is there any more diamond armor here? Actually, no. I want... Actually, no. Do I want that, or...? Hmm... I think I want... See, I think Time Eternal Mail is the one I want. Uh, I wish you could see item descriptions here. Uh, well, whatever. Anyway, um... Alright, I'll check... No, no, I think it has to be the Eternal Mail. Because I think Time Mail only stop... stops. <laughs> as dumb as that sounds. Um, let's see. Uh, don't think that... Oh! I always keep forgetting to grab these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, I have plenty of Diamond Ore. I'm swimming in it. Uh, and I have... Three diamond armors, ready and rare, and for anyone who can, who wants it, and a diamond shield, and diamond gloves, and a diamond salad. I have more than enough diamond ore to go around, but I don't have the ore calcum I need, and I need two of it. Um, let me see. Oh, I do have all the elemental rings. Perfect. Uh, which is very good because I need gravity right off the bat, so that's always a good thing. Put that there. Right. Let's see. Ah, no. It was uh, the time mail <laughs> that I wanted. Yes, yeah, so I'll put the eternal mail on for that. Hello. Hello. Put that away. Grab that one. Okay, put that on. Uh. I think I'll... Yeah, I want that one better. That one for sure. I forgot to put all those things away. Oh yeah, that's right, because I, I, I wanted to make time salad, which I haven't yet. Oh well, I'll do it later. Alright. Yeah, because I have to go all the way up to... Uh... Uh... Um, Shella, to get that made. All right, so I ship. Mm. I should just use. I should stop using the joysticks for this. The D-pad is way more responsive. Okay. Do do. Hello there. Interested in a pass for free passage? Hmm. I should probably. Sp I honestly should just get that, because then at that point my it, do it doesn't matter anymore, and then I'm just. Oh well, some other time. Well, you can't buy it without money. Oh. Where to? <sighs> what I do? I'm a dope. Oh. All right. Now the only thing that's gonna suck about this is, uh, I didn't shave Mog, um, for one, because I wasn't, you know, anticipating going here today, uh, but that being said, also, uh, yeah, I, I guess it's, it's not really a big deal, all it'll mean is that he'll just complain about carrying the chalice every five steps, but, and with the enemy spams here, I'm not gonna get that far. Alright. Mount oh, Kalanda. Oh, honestly, this place is really easy. It's not hard at all The issue uh, to traverse. The issue is all the enemies! Like, this place is so big! And the boss is a joke! Okay. 
Okay, defeat enemies. Ah, perfect. That works for me. This should be the cure. Yep. I need to get the cure ring from uh, Canal Crush. This actually does do damage to him. Not a whole lot. Like, I'd use other spells, but I don't have any. Did she just die already? Gravity. I don't even know what his health is at. Yeah. And this just doesn't do any damage at all. Thunder. There we go, now he's dead. Oh yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just what I need. Everything here obviously is vulnerable to blizzard. Oh yeah, fire. Alright. Let's organize this. Alright. I don't need that cure, so I can just stay there for all I care. to be you. I came prepared. Fortunately, this is going to hurt my, uh, Ooh, a healing kit. That sounds cool. Let's see. I'll do that. There we go. Alright, hopefully if I use holy, it'll probably work better. Alright, now as you can see, this thing's not up yet. Ugh. Oh well. Alright, now I have to just kill everything here for it to work. There we go. 
And of course, not dropping anything. And I wish they would. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah, see, this thing rises up once you kill all the enemies, so you don't even have to throw the pot in there. That's just if you want to get through it faster. Ow. No, it's not what I wanted. <sighs> oh no. Oh, this this is just all the bad. Ow oh, oh come on, all three of the is screw you. If he die, Gravity. ow, oh. Holy. ah, there we go. Okay, that will probably work better. Now, I really don't know if gravity really does anything to them, but... I feel like it should? Okay, and that's the Mog House. Don't need that. Uh, I think a Flame Belt is the only belt I don't have for my... As repetitive as this is, this is this, this is small potatoes. Oh, thank you. Finally. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the I love Thundra very much, but everything here is weak to this, so it just makes sense. Look at that. See, two shots. And now watch this. That's weird. All oh, right, I don't think I killed everything yet. I don't think I did. Uh, did I kill everything? No, I think there's probably one more I'm missing over here. Yeah, I was. Of course, yes. That turned to be. Whoa! There we go. Alright. Now, let's go deal with those damn goblins. <laughs> Okie doke. It's so hot, Paul. Okay, that's him. Come on, Mug. Now again, this is a very, very dumb idea. Because I am just attracting all the hate. Oh my. Come on. Oh 
Haha, <laughs> I win again. Better luck next time, suckers. <laughs> oh, I love that. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah, I thought as much. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, the range on that is stupid, by the way. I am so glad that I can freeze him, by the way. Uh. Yeah, seriously. Dude. So everything I'm doing is just wrong, by the way. I am like, just... This is all the wrong. This is not how you want to handle this area at all. Uh. Alright, um... Honestly, I need another... Yeah, put that on. Uh... Yep, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Okay. That is the only positive side of dying. Ugh, look at that range. Look at that, see? It's ridiculous. Okay, good. It's one down. Oh, I hate that range. Ooh, it hits so hard. For like no reason. I mean, yeah, I he's an order. He's an ogre. It's what they do, but man, I hate these guys. Okay, good riddance. Give me some. Oh, I hate it when they do that. More sulfur? That, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. That is, that's also one of the annoying things about these little guys. Um. Is that uh? They are a hundred percent immune to any of the status effects afflicted by these spells. So you can't. Fr oh, thank you. Yes, I need that. But first, that. Okay. Now this guy, I I have nothing to fear from him. Like literally nothing. Three of these should probably kill. Still alive. There we go. I feel like four is a lot. Ah, why are they not dropping anything for me? That's annoying. Like, I literally spent 250 to get here, and they're not dropping Jack Diddley. It's like, man, that's just, th that's just bad. Like, that just is all the bad. Uh, yeah, even with my minus 10 to cast it. Yeah, that attack is so hard to outrange. It's like almost impossible. Uh, look at that, see? That's like huge!
Okay, dead. Now give me Ori Calcum! Okay, I already have one of those. Which means that I probably have a high... Okay, you are not even remotely my concern right now. Ugh, I hate that attack. It doesn't do a lot of damage to me, but man, the stun hurts. It's like... Uh, of course it would. <sighs> now here's the one annoying thing about uh, Phoenix Downs. You can't buy them in the store. They are a dungeon exclusive item. Period. Um, only monsters drop them. Fortunately, I enjoyed enough success in the uh... oh thank god but yes I enjoyed enough success in the main game that uh I mean sorry in the lower levels that I was able to create a significant stockpile of them oh I don't god what is your health pool I mean eh. and that's also the annoying thing uh, on, it's only on this side of the mountain where the artifacts drop. You will not get them anywhere else. Uh, I hate you. Ooh, an ancient potion. That's not terrible. I have 51 of these. I am good for a while. As long as I don't die too many times. Ugh. Oh, stop it! Ugh, that's also annoying. annoying too. Even if I freeze him mid-attack, um, as long as he gets the hammer down, it counts. Ah, <sighs> oh, cool. I killed him in the air. Uh, diamond- uh, I have diamond armor already! Uh, man. Ori Calcum should not be this hard to come by. Uh, right. Move! Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. Oh, no. Oh, this is... This is like, all the bad. Oh, thank you. Ugh, a cure? I don't need that. I hope the ogre reset. Because I'm taking a big risk doing this. Okay, good. The ogre did reset. Ah, uh, no, he didn't. Oh, I hate you so much right now. Okay, he's dead. Oh, 
Oh no. See, I mean, look at this. They're giving me like corn and like just low tier garbage. Like the loot table here sucks. <laughs> Okay, he's dead. <sighs> oh, nice. Kitchen knife. Oh, sorry, chicken knife. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's totally what a caster wants. An item that increases your <laughs> strength. Mm-hmm. Just what I always wanted. A plus two to my strength. Because clearly... That's where my priorities lie, as a caster. <laughs> okay, so... I right, took care of that. I mean, look at that. I only just cleared this half of it. Oh my gosh. So many enemies. I think that was the last flyer, though. Hopefully. I would really like some more Calcum, please. Ugh, I curse you and your blasted. Good, dead. Give me all your Calcum. Ugh. Okay. Ah, oh, that range. I wish you'd die already. I'm literally casting the highest level blizzard spell there is. Why do you not die sooner? Fish! Uh, uh, you're an elite enemy! I don't want fish! Stunning. Seriously. Uh. Or a calcum. Or give me nothing. You know, like that. That that, that works too. Uh. All right. Over here, he's by himself. It's slower this way, but if I wait for him to. There we go. 
Oh, of course, a, a, a life. Like, you know, obviously I need that, too. Uh, I wish I could kick you into this thing. Ah. Uh... Okay, good. It didn't aggro the stupid cat. Ah, now it did. Then it de-aggroed. Like, uh... Still not dead. Okay. Urgh. This is frustrating. Oh, thank you. I actually killed both of them. Of course. Okay. Alright, so that's everything on that. Everything on that side's dead. All that's left is just what's over here. Oh, you bastard. I think I've already dealt damage to this guy already, I think. Got a mean right hook. Or, no, that's a left hook. Because he's using his weapon in his right hand. Ugh, okay, dead. Uh, I've literally killed everything. Well, except this guy, but. I guess we'll just go and fight the Iron Giant now. Because uh, I've killed everything and they didn't drop Jack. Ugh. This is... This is disappointing. This is very disappointing. But yeah, but as you can see, that, that that's the reason why I've just... Haven't gotten anything! <laughs> uh I'm thinking of just probably going as is and dealing with that final boss, but oh, it's gonna be an annoying fight. <laughs> Ow. Unfortunately, these are the best type of bats. The ones that don't approach me and I just attack them with impunity with my own spells, which have way longer range. This block should take no more than a few seconds. Well, not seconds, because it's probably already, maybe, been like half a minute already. Maybe. This is probably going to be a pretty long episode. Any luck. Ow, you schmuck. Oh, 
Yeah, that backswing. I wonder if I'll kill him before his sword breaks again. Yeah, it's funny, um... In the, um... Uh, I forget which Final Fantasy the Iron Golem was introduced, but man, he was a bastard from what I understand. Uh, he pretty much had like... It, oh my god, I froze him! <laughs> I froze him just as he spawned in! Oh, that's the best. That's just the best. And they both died. <laughs> Contributing absolutely nothing. But yeah, like, uh, the Iron Golem originally, uh, was an absolute bastard. He just had, like, high resistances. I think he had the highest health pool among bosses. Uh, he was 100% optional, but man, was he hard. There we go. Alright. Well, um, yeah, that's it. No worry, Calcum to speak of, but, well, let's at least see what I got as a prize. <sighs> we'll just skip that. Hail Moogle at your service, Capo. <sighs> Here you go, Capo. Oh, my father. Uh, what did he say? Uh, reflect on them. Um, I guess my words are not so convincing when all the mistakes I've made... Uh, oh, with all the mistakes that I've made, huh? I get worried, but I never regret anything. I reflect on them, and this is my proof. Huh, he gave me a remedy. <laughs> I don't believe... Uh... I'll go with amazing. Uh, let's see, what should I send him? I guess I could just send him the ancient potion? I don't really need it for much else. Uh, I don't know how much that's worth. E yeah, I'll just send him the ancient potion. I don't really need it. Keep me waiting, Kupo. Yes, yes. I got your reply, Kupo. Bye. So long, Kupo. <laughs> hey, let's see what we got here. It's probably not going to be that high, because I had to kill a few enemies before I got going as my... Yep. Let's see. Bah! Oh yeah, the Masamune. <laughs> yeah, I totally need that. Uh oh, chicken knife is a defense one, right? Oopsie. Uh celestial weapon. Yes, I'll get that. I think that's the ultimate weapon for the Lilties. Okay. Um Yeah, I guess that's what I'll get. Oh well, like I Where guess it was. To? Um let's just head back to Magnoli. Uh, well, that was kind of a bust, but at least I got the Lilty's ultimate weapon, interestingly enough. Alright, well, uh, that's it for now, um, I'll keep at it, I, I gotta get Ori Calcum eventually, <sighs> it's just, oh man, it's, ex it's insanely rare for no reason, I don't know why, but, oh well. Uh, until next time, though, uh, this is MegaWizard79, bidding you all adieu, and all ashore that's going ashore, <laughs> I like saying that, uh, but until next time.